back to before the break, I said there was a big difference. What are the things that have moved on in the last seven years that I'm referring to? Kind of what were the like? Because there's some shots in the movie that are yeah. literally like, like mind blowing. And I'm not like I'm not film guy. I'm not. I don't care yeah. about those things. And they really, really got me like full goosebumps. I'm I'm ready for it, dude. <laughs> I know you, you boys. I've seen some of the clips, and still I sat in the cinema and I was like, whoa. Well. Basically, we get a good friend called Andy Lawrence, <laughs> <laughs> drone absolute whiz and lord. And even seven years ago, the first day, we didn't have FPVs. We just okay. had wow. normal drones. That's such a big step up for this movie. Yeah. And Andy's a good friend of ours, always works off anyway. And he came to pretty much every, nearly every shoot. And he brought like a whole array of toys, putting slow-mo cameras on drones and everything else, I think. Some of the peop- the shots people always talk about in the cinema, like, how did you shoot that? A lot of them are Andy. Yeah. <laughs> really, yeah. yeah. He's everywhere. Yeah. Isn't he? Like, most bike stuff and F1 stuff yeah. and everything. Premiership football stuff. Yeah. But, like, I'm even going to say, like, the shots that won't even be in a Hollywood movie. Because mm. it's like, imagine getting a guy <laughs> with on an FPV drone, which means it's a smaller drone it's like really mobile and you can fly through anything like what does the fpv stand for first person view. first person view so you normally would put a gopro on there yeah which is like gopro 300 pound bit of kit it's expensive but if you crash it like you can all chip together and get a new yeah. one like it's even the end of the world crashing pretty good 100, 100 quid each. bounce back Second exactly round. yeah exactly we're talking 100 quid each we're like, oh shit this is going <laughs> to yeah. come out of book sales whatever but <laughs> um Andy's turning up at a shoot, which which we only turned up at the last one in Madeira 2. Uh, but he's turned up with uh, a camera called a... Um, free fly, free fly slow-mo one. Yeah, what's it called? Um, Ember. Ember, yeah. He's turned up the camera called an, an Ember, which can shoot like 600 frames a second or like even more. It's like super, super slow-mo stuff. Wow. It's a real specialist bit of kit. And he's bolted it to an FPV drone. So we've got like in effect, and um, back in the day, like it, to get that amount of slow mo, used to be, used to be a camera called a Phantom. Yeah, Please correct me if was, I'm wrong. No. Which is like a hundred grand bit of kit, and it was massive back in the day as well. Massive. So now we have we have capabilities to put in effect super 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 slow mo on this drone that flies under your under your three legs. So and, f- and the first thing Andy says, he's like, "I want to fly through your roost," <laughs> yeah. and I was like. What? So oh, with he's that like camera. Yeah, with like this insanely expensive camera, like this drone, everything. It's just like, and when he takes off, it looks really not mobile. He's like, Whoa. kind of is like a big boat, and it sort of like really? boats around a bit. And I'm like, like the back. GoPro one's a little jet skis one. And <laughs> yeah, like that one's <laughs> like having exactly, a big yacht. The little one <laughs> yeah. that goes, <laughs> <laughs> and this one's like, Whoa. you know, and I'm thinking that ain't gonna fly through anyone's legs. <laughs> But some, like what Sega said, some of these shots we've got. Why well, I said you cut, you probably won't get into a Hollywood movie or whatever because no one's gonna fly a hundred grand bit of kit through yeah. rocks and roost in like with a guy hitting a turn, roosting up all this stuff, and he's like, no, "I'm not happy with that one. I want to like fly around you, then come through your roost." And it's like these rocks coming at you in six hundred frames a second. You just see the tires moving, like yeah. the athlete twitching like making micro adjustments it's just like dude sick you're right there's no way of making it happen other than what you refer to as a passion project because if you organised it no one's gonna offer to put a camera on a drone no No one's gonna be like yeah sure you can fly that yeah. massive camera at me through rocks yeah (laughs) no And, and, and like when you get to a certain stage of budget or organisation just becomes impossible doesn't it like the red tape becomes too much so what you've en- ended up with is something that's actually like super hard to get isn't it and oh. I think even for Andy he borrowed the camera big thanks for Lek for lending it to us so I think same in a rental car where it's a rental don't be gentle <laughs> so definitely did a definitely did a barrel roll on hopefully the Lek hasn't seen the movie because <laughs> yeah. if you look at the end credit there is a it's doing a full flip, but Andy managed to control it and save it whilst wow. the camera's going around. Nice. It flew That's a little bit so too cool. low and just clipped the berm and it did a full front flip. Yeah. And then he caught it. <laughs> That's but why it's like, you say it's like you've not really planned for that. It's just happened because it's passion. Yeah. I don't think you can. No. I think, honestly, 
like try and come up with that with a spreadsheet this is what time you have to turn up this is what the drone we need this is all of those things mm. and like the light and everything it has to be like a small crew of people that really want to do it and, like, and you've like nailed it on the head like a small crew for me was like key. crucial crucial how would the crew have not got only bigger? because what would you have? we're paying for the crew <laughs> yeah <laughs> but a small crew is way more mobile way more like if, you, if you're leaving at four in the morning, you're not waiting for one person. Everyone's there at four. And, and another thing that I'll quickly just say is everyone wanted to be there. Mm. Like no one's like, everyone's getting paid, but no one's like dragging their feet. But same and for like, Andy, he could be like, it's such Andy a reduced be, rate. He Andy could be, Andy earning could be getting paid three, way, four times exactly, the amount on another show. Doing shoot. what he normally does from top gear to premiership stuff. Yeah. Where he only has to fly 10 minutes a day. But he was even messaging us being like, when's the next one? When can I come along? Right. He's so buzzing just to, Test his we all were, we all were. Out. So you've yeah. basically got everyone at their best. You've got from you as like almost you almost your position in this one is almost as the host, right? Ride, rider wise, yeah, definitely. I say yeah, mm. yeah. I wouldn't say I'm at my best. I say I was at my best in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. You've got everyone at their best. Yeah. You've got you've got Clay I'm Dog, a prop, got dude. Seeds, I'm the prop for this in every <laughs> segment. <laughs> everyone wants to be there. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, and, and like but even, even the down. You're down to riders, yeah. yeah. Riders like Jackson's in there. We had Valley and Marine who were one, two in the world. Yeah, we're still yeah, like now. Insane, that was insane demographic. Yeah. We had Jackson, Jackson Goldstone. We had Amory Pirion, Amory Pirion. Mm-hmm. We got like the best free riders. We even got Ollie Wilkins out there, and he hates moving out of Surrey, riding yeah. anywhere else. <laughs> and we got him all the way to New Zealand. We got New Zealand. <laughs> Is that as, where that far, yeah. as possible, as far as possible. <laughs> I spoke to um, Chaos about it, and like you know, when you speak to someone who's like younger, I always, I, I never quite. I've got yeah. that. I've got to an age now where I'm a bit like I don't quite know what's cool anymore. Like I, I don't necessarily quite know if he was, he, and he was so like after the premiere, he was so like, I can't believe I've been in this yes, movie. Yeah. It was so cool wow. to see him like so fired up, like. Obviously, that's not a surprise, but you know what I mean. You, no, you almost surprise. expect it's a surprise, yeah. And chaos is in that kind of demographic of like the short attention span media, where they're yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but and also target with his age, yeah. he'll be of watching Death Grip One, yeah, or yeah. Death Grip OG, or yeah. whatever. Yeah, but actually going back, like the amount of people that set that ride now because of Death Grip, yeah. it's so sick. Like I, I used to get like a message every two weeks or a week saying I got into riding through through yeah. watching Death Grip. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty sick. But yeah, like, um, this all the athletes we got. Everyone was so was just yeah. Should we go through? To be there. Say, should we go through each segment? Yeah, yeah, we should go through each segment and, and mm. that, like the lineup. It'd be good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey man, what an episode that was! You did amazing in it, and so did you. You shone like a star. You shone like a moon. Can we also put something up here that you can click on for the next episode? How about we put a subscribe up there in the middle? Yeah, I love it. We're going to put a video we think that our uh, lovely companionship will love on your face. On my face? Yeah. So they can't see me now? Gone. And on my face, another video that we think people will love. And thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please hit like and subscribe. You guys are the best. Peace and love.